It's Hammer Time. All right, welcome to another episode of Nailed It, featuring yours truly, the jerk of all trades. Uh, in this one, we are not going to be singing uh, favorited MC Hammer songs. Um, I put an S on the end of songs, but he has one. Uh, we're going to be doing hammer testing videos. Now, I always make fun of people because I was a framing carpenter, so I use at least a framing hammer, not just a little dinky one. But uh, I always kind of make fun of people for using what I call little girl hammers, and I'll actually show you why. It's not just me being a jerk, but it, there's there's a legitimate reason as to why you should probably step up your hammer game. So this is what we're going to be testing here today. So this is your typical 16-ounce hammer that most people have, and it's a fine enough hammer. But if you're going to be doing any sort of actual nailing, you're going to step up into this world, in my opinion. Uh, and then, like I said, there is some actual proof behind this. We've got an S-Wing, 22-ounce uh, framing hammer. We have a heart. Uh, I can't remember how heavy this one is as it's been through the ringer a little bit. This is my demo hammer because uh, parents got it for, in the States for a pretty cheap price. So this is kind of my demo hammer. Um, that right there is actually a nail puller. So you can go alongside it and pry it out that way. Kind of a handy feature when uh, when it comes for it. I believe this one is in the 18 to 20 ounce range. This one is actually a Vaughn framing hammer that uh, is only 18 ounces. And it's probably the weirdest one. Most people are not going to see a hammer like that. My old boss had it, swore by it, so I bought one. Um, and honestly, I didn't like it quite as much. I'm an S-Twing guy. And then another on-sale hammer. This is a uh, Stanley Fat Max, and it's a 22-ounce it's a hammer as well. I also have one more, but uh, it's going to be a surprise. So like I said, there is some kind of science behind these hammers. Uh, when I'm making fun of people for using a little piddly one like this, it's leverage, I guess is the word for it. So as you're swinging the length of the hammer <laughs> is going to give you uh, a better thwap. That's the technical term for hitting a nail. Um, it's just, yeah, it's simple physics. So you've got a little hammer. You don't have quite as much thwing as you do with a larger hammer. And you see those side by side. But say, so yeah, you're going to get a lot more uh, power out of the longer hammer. So it doesn't even have to be that much heavier. It just, the length of it propels the hammer and it gives you a, a much heartier swing. Cut in for uh, full disclosure here. It's a completely different day and uh, you'll notice by the different outfit, all the hammer testing for some reason vanished off my phone. Uh, so I don't know whether it's me being an idiot. This had nothing to do with it. Uh, or it's uh, gremlins of some sort. So you'll notice that uh, there's some continuity errors here. But basically, the entirety of the testing of the hammers went bye bye So I have to redo that. All right, it's cold, so we're going to kind of do these quick because my little fingies are cold. So first up, we're going to do the 22-ounce uh, S-Wing. I'm the most comfortable with it, so it'll kind of be the benchmark. I'm not going to use this newer one. Use my good old fashioned, been around for over a decade one, so we'll see. Four hits, not terrible, not great. Haven't really honestly swung this hammer a whole lot lately. Office monkey now, so you don't do a ton of hammering and it's all drills and stuff for home renos. All right, so next we're moving on to your typical hammer. Uh, I might have mentioned earlier that it uh, was like 16 or 18 ounces. That's what most of these ones are. This one's actually a 20 ounce hammer. So it's got some heft to it, which is going to help you drive the nail just like a longer hammer would. So this one in the world of girl hammers is probably like a big butchy girl. <laughs> so we'll try that. <laughs> I 
So like six-ish hits, and I kind of miss twice because I keep glancing off the side of it because it's short, and I keep coming up short. Not the first time in my life I've done that. Stick with the uh, Fat Max world here. I use this, literally I just use this for demo because I hate swinging this hammer. So <laughs> we'll give her a go. Now it is a, uh, a framing hammer, you know, more along the style. I'm trying to see how heavy it is. Let me just, uh, oh, it's a 24. It's actually heavier than uh, the S-Swing that I typically use. So there you go. Bent the fucking nail. I don't know how long it's been since I've bent the nail that bad with a hammer. So uh, we're going to try it again, but that is some bad news for this hammer. All right, so we've got the block back up. We'll give this a take two. Could be me. I've had a few beers. Let's try again. All right, so when you take your time and line it up, it's not terrible, but man, you got to focus. I do not like this hammer. There's something about it. It's weirdly weighted. It's got a slightly curved handle, which sucks. Uh, the claw is flatter than I'd like it, but not as curved. It's kind of in between, like a hammer that you want that's kind of flat and kind of curved, whereas like the S-Wing curves more, and your other framing hammers curve less. It's in the weird middle ground that I don't like. Speaking of the Vaughn, we'll try that one next. This is a, uh, a Vaughn, I believe, might even be actually an 18 ounce. I'm not positive. These have all seen so much uh, use that any markings are pretty much rubbed off. Rubbed off. I haven't swung this in a while, so one miss, but uh, three hits to actually get her in there. Uh, I remember why I actually liked this hammer. It's, uh, it's, it's a good one to swing. It's good for breaking stuff. It's good for pulling apart things that accidentally got nailed together. So uh, it's a good hammer. I really like it, actually. Now up uh, next, we've got the heart hammer. A couple bucks, random one. I also like this one for demo because it's big, it's heavy. Uh, it's got the nail slot there to pry nails up and uh, yeah, it's kind of got like a hatchet handle action, which feels pretty comfortable actually. Use the nail set maybe. Hey, it worked. Four half swings, got her in there. One of the main things when it comes to a hammer is how you're comfortable with it. I got comfortable with the S-Wing because it was cheap. It was uh, the first framing hammer I ever used and I just got super used to it. It is really up to you. If you like that Fat, fat Max uh, Stanley one, then I mean, you're wrong, but sure, go ahead and use that one. Whatever means that you're not gonna hit your thumb more, that one is the hammer for you. So if it happens to be a piddly little girl hammer, then sure, you just gotta be prepared to uh, be made fun of on the job site. All right. So that's kind of the, uh, the testing of them. Uh, I do have one more special hammer. I should say that I have been using standard three and a quarter uh, Ardox nails. This is what you build anything with framing wise. Um, now they come in strips because most people don't use a hammer anymore to build houses unless you're, I don't know, Mennonite or whatever. And then it's uh, a many hands make short work type situation. Most people use nail guns, but those are what's in them three and a quarter inch nails, your standard nail length. So here's the surprise ending to the video though. I got one more hammer. And uh, she's a little guy. I'm probably gonna break this one because the head's already loose. Oh my God. I think this thing's like eight ounces. You know what? It's still better than that Stanley Fat Max. Okay, admittedly, this is kind of a preference thing and that test is uh, good for me, but uh, it's different for everybody. So let's do a more universal test here. And uh, we're gonna call it the hammer flip test. This might check balance, it might not. It might be doing nothing other than killing time while I am barbecuing and drinking beer. So, Estwing. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Stanley, little guy. Yeah, it's got, it's got a heavy rotation on her though. Uh, 
we're staying with the Stanley. We have the Fat Max. Right, there's nothing this hammer does well. There is nothing. <laughs> you can't tell, but that like I had to actually pay attention to that flip. This one. This one's actually my favorite because it's super heavy at the end compared to the rest of the handle. Do this all freaking day. No look. I'm glad I actually got that. <laughs> and uh, we'll do the heart. Kind of the same deal. It's heavy at the end. This handle in general is a lot heavier too, but same, same thing. I can't forget a little guy. Just a little guy. <laughs> Gotta do a, I should have to use a T-Rex arm for this. There you have it, an absolutely non-scientific extra test for you. All right, so there you go. That's uh, my hammer testing video. You might have caught it. I'm pretty partial to the S-Wings. Uh, I think they make an amazing hammer. There's a reason that almost everybody starts with them, and that's because they are an amazing hammer. You can tell them they got the blue, just your typical hammer. There's no nail set on them. You get the waffle face. It's pretty much the only accoutrements that they put in there. But uh, S-Wing makes an amazing hammer. I know it wasn't my number one in uh, speed or how quick I got the nail in. But uh, it is by far my favorite hammer. So uh, I think I'm going to do some more of these sort of testing videos. So if you've got other products you want me to test, uh, let me know. And if I have them, <laughs> I will make the testing videos. So there you go. If you want to get yourself a decent hammer, get yourself a framing hammer and... Weight-wise, it's only going to be a little bit heavier than your typical sort of short hammer. One of these guys, like I said, this is this is a 20-ounce hammer. My S-Wing, 22 ounces. I think you can swing two more ounces. Even most people can handle two more shots. So <laughs> get yourself an S-Wing, and uh, that's my personal opinion of the best hammers out there for framing and for general work. Even if you uh, want to do small trim work and you're hand-nailing that stuff, get used to using a framing hammer and it doesn't matter. Like I can use a framing hammer over a small little hammer on anything. doesn't matter how finicky or how small it is. I prefer the, uh, the big one. So there it is. Hammer testing video, hammer time. And uh, yeah, we nailed it.